Hello and welcome to another episode of 3D Paint. Today we're going to be taking a look at Liquid Mask. And to be perfectly honest with you guys, I have never ever used this. But I have a little bit of a problem with the yellow and the brown right up here. And I need to re-airbrush it. And it's more of an experimental piece than a finished piece. So I figured I'd try some of this Liquid Mask. So basically it is what it says it is. It's a liquid mask. So basically it's a paint that you're going to put over it. And then supposedly you peel it off. Shake it up a little bit. Get everything nice and move them around and it's by Vallejo all right we'll pour some into probably too much but whatever pour some of that in there cover this off so it doesn't dry up what I've read about this stuff is we should use a brush we don't really care about yeah, let's use this one kind of a cheapo brush with a decent tip what I want to mask out is right around her her collar here so let's load up the brush not too much and just paint it on Going on nice, it is still liquidy. So I don't need to do this. I'm doing this just to experiment. Like I said on this, it's not something that really needs to be done. I just wanted to experiment with this, see how it coats, see how it dries, see how long it takes to dry for anybody interested and doing this themselves. So I'm just masking out part of her face, seeing how difficult this is gonna be to take off after everything's said and done. Basically to see if this stuff's worth it. <laughs> see how difficult it is to use. This is one of those scenarios when I'm doing a better piece, can I use it? Is it worth using? And see if it's gonna take off some of the paint. What, what, what is the reaction? I guess that's what I'm going for. Doesn't look like it's really running, which is good. did run a little bit on the one side. See, it did pull up right there a little bit. I don't like that. Let's see how well it covers. Because I could always repaint those areas if it doesn't work out. I'm gonna see if it actually works in the water here, see if it actually dries out. Hopefully it won't. Price-wise, guys, this you're looking at like $13. If you have Amazon Prime, it was free shipping. So 13 bucks, and that's a pretty decent sized bottle, and I over poured. I didn't even use that much. I used a couple brush strokes on this. And I'm gonna let that set, and then I'll come back to you, and we'll see about spraying her and seeing what happens. All right, we're gonna see if we're gonna mess this up or if this stuff really works pretty good. I wanna redo this, so I'm gonna hit it with some Vallejo Airbrush White. Shake it up. Okay, just a little bit. Just doing a little touch up. We'll white it out and then we're going to touch it up. And we're just going for right by her collar. So I'm just going to show you real quick. I'm just going to hit it with a little bit of white. All right, dry for a second. Just to let you know, that is silly putty draping over her. I didn't say that earlier. That's just silly putty to block out some of the work. That way I'm not hitting anything else. It's just a little spray area. Like I said, I'm just cleaning up, trying to make this a little bit better. Go ahead and hit her again. All right. All right. That's it for the white. I'm actually gonna try something new. I'm gonna try some of the inks. Don't know if it's wise, but I would just, using this as an undertone, so I'm not really worried. I just wanna kinda of blend it in. So I'm letting that dry up. So it's experiment day. I don't need much of it. Well, that's Vallejo Game Inks. I'm gonna try and use that. Cause it's a thinner substance, and I wanna see how well it works in the airbrush. Apparently it's meant to accent pieces. All right, hit it with the heat gun real quick. All right, so it looks like this brown's gonna work out pretty well, let's see. I think that works out pretty well. I'll be honest with you, it looks more orange than it does brown, which might be some contrast difference, we'll see. This is one of my 3D printed, resin 3D printed airbrush cups. Vallejo yellow airbrush, air, or whatever the heck they call it. It's a lot of wasted paint for a little touch ups. That's why I wanna make sure you do it right the first time. Don't be like me, kids. All right, that should be it. Looks done. Start taking this off. And like I said, that's just silly putty. Just to cover the space. And we can reuse that. Just really is silly putty. Just throw it in there. 
It all dries up in there. It's fine. All right, let's see if this stuff worked. Or they just make a mess. Good pair of tweezers. All right, so I got a little blue glob right here. I'm gonna try and pull on that. Can't tell, this is the first time I'm using this stuff. Oh, it just rubs right off. Oh, that sucks. Well, even got around our neck. Let's see. I think the rubbing technique works better. Looks like you just rub the shit off. So it looks like it's a mess. And then we just let's go for that piece right there and we'll just rub it off. I think the hardest part is going to be finding where all this stuff is. But I'm just rubbing it off. And it even keeps the paint from underneath it good. So that's pretty cool. like sticky and stuff and we just pull it off the only thing that I could see downfall from this is forgetting a piece is there and then later on after you're done with the paint job forgetting that you had it on there and then trying to take it off and you're like oh no I could see a lot of uses for this I could see why people are using this because it's really pretty convenient as long as I don't scratch my paintwork but I would rather touch up what I scratch than try to touch up an airbrush area I'm gonna fin finish cleaning this up out of camera view and then we'll come back to it and I'll show you what the final result was all right so end result it didn't come out bad a little different color than I would have liked it on this particular paint job but overall it did really well the only spots you know it's a little hard to get off I still have some some of it right here I just noticed but I've been using a paintbrush, a dry paintbrush, and just going in and just trying to pick it up a little bit and then trying not to scratch it, just going in there and trying to peel it off. But that's the only thing that I don't like about this is there's a lot of cleanup afterwards. So I could see where it could be useful, but I could also see where this could be almost hindering, like spots in here. I'm going to scratch the paint, which is fine. I can fix it. I like it and I don't like it. I mean... If you guys use this, maybe it's just lack of not having experience using it. You know, maybe I don't know exactly what I'm doing yet, or I haven't figured out a technique yet, but I mean, it's pretty cool. I wish I would have stuck with my colors instead of going with the ink. I actually like the ink better. I'm almost tempted to respray her while I still got everything out here, kind of make it match, which I could possibly do with that masking. So to recap, it's not bad. It's the Vallejo liquid mask. If you guys were looking into it, I'm sure it'll be in more of my videos as it goes on, but it's interesting. What the bigger bottle because it was cheaper in the long run by the ounces. So, you know, decide what you want to do. In this train, years in this lane, there's no stop in this flame cuz I came to the game and I changed it to play. How I like rearranged it to my own domain. Yeah, I got what it takes. Made lots of mistakes, taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great, popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed. All the squad here to play and I've got some Thing to say, yeah. I work hard each and every day.